Hey guys, this is Coach Chris. Welcome to my channel where we break down international level fights for strategies and tactics that you can use in your own matches. Today we're watching uh, Rechber, Rechber against uh, Sinden. I'm actually not sure how to pronounce uh, Turkey's name properly, but I have been watching this guy for a long time. And specifically, we're going to be looking at two things that make him absolutely deadly inside the clinch. So, I'm going to play this clip. Awesome. So I want, to, I want you guys to take a uh, very, very close look at his footwork here. I'll play this in half speed so you guys can watch. I want you just to notice that he steps to the outside of Sinden's feet, foot. Let me get that. Grab the epic pen. So going slow motion to the side. And most people on the edge, you know, I think he's trying not to get forced out here, but here. He's on the edge. He's trying to force out. What he does is notice the position of his. I want you guys to notice the position of his foot here. So it's not. He's not going to line it up um, square with Sinden. He's, it's not going to be. Um, I guess I'm trying to pick the right tool for this. He's going to land it on the outside of Sinden. Like watch. Look at Sinden's knee. Rekber is going to land his foot to the outside of the knee, so that way he can get a little bit more distance for his kick so he gets more leverage for for that when the actual kick goes up so let's play this slow-mo watch his foot and boom one more time play it in slow-mo he's gonna get it to the outside of Sinden's knee here outside and then that's when he goes for the kick right I mean he gets another one here um, but that one's not really a clinch manipulation thing um, and so what I want you guys to, uh, to take away from that is not all the kicks have to be straight. You don't have to exchange one for one when you're in the clinch. Also think about taking that outside angle, stepping to the side a little bit to get a little bit more leverage for your kick. I'm pretty sure I covered that in my clinch tactics video. So give that a look. Now, this is going to be another little clip and I want you guys to notice, um, two things. One, oh, I'm going to play this clip and then like, like before, and then I'll rewind it. So half speed, or I'll play at normal speed, then we'll go at half speed. One and boom, nice, nice kick. And then he goes for the headshot. So we're gonna break this down just a tiny bit here for you guys, just get it back. There's a couple of things I wanna point out. One is, one, well, one was that arm actually. I wanna move too fast for me. Notice Ruckberg's arm. Now, in the new, with the new rules, you can't really do this anymore. You can't have your hand past the opponent's back. But this arm, don't like have, uh, don't doubt that this arm is forcefully pushing Sinden this way, right? That's uh, a little bit for ring position, a little bit just so his base, um, so uh, Sinden's base is uh, gone essentially, and he has to recover, which gives Rekber or Turkey a, a little bit more time to actually execute a move. So that's the first thing is use, you utilize your arms. I think in the new game, you can't reach behind them like this anymore. You're going to have to do a, a, a smaller shove versus a long arm shove. The next thing I want you guys to watch is his footwork. Let me see if I, I might have to go even slower actually, because he does this so fast. Watch his, watch his front foot. Okay. I think Sinden goes here. Boom. Notice. Okay. Notice the same thing. So he steps his foot. Look, this is Sinden's foot. Ruckberg's foot is on the outside. Steps just to the outside. And notice Ruckberg's hips aren't forward. He's not He's not stepping forward. His hips are fully turned to the side right now. They're fully turned so this leg can um, has a little bit more of a whiplash motion going up this way as it comes up. So let me get rid of this and let play, let, and play this for you guys. Boom. One more time. I'm going to play it in half speed so you guys can kind of see everything at the same time here. There's the arm. Watch the footwork. Steps to the outside. Hips turn. And is able to get a little bit more leverage onto that kick for a little bit more power. So great example there. All right. And then in this next clip, you're going to see the footwork one more time. But he's going to use this now as a fake. Um, this is back to the first round. But it, this is kind of a variation you can use in your own match. Um, if you've been doing that step over. So here. Oh, sorry. Watch the whole thing. Steps over, steps back, though, and then makes another attempt. So we'll rewind. We'll go back in slow motion so you can see this happen. 
steps across, but then steps back and or switches back and then tries for a point on the other side. Uh, unfortunately, no score there, but really, really good footwork. Um, getting that foot across so that way your hip is better positioned for uh, and for more leverage. The next thing I want you guys to watch is very quick. Uh, it's going to be him. And I, I covered this in another video and two other videos, actually. But I want you guys to watch another iteration of looking your of looking not looking we're gonna kick so if you're kicking to the head look to the body if you're looking to the body kick to the head so i'm gonna play it and watch ruckber's eyes boom in the clinch look where his eyes are and scores so one more time in slow-mo i mean i don't really need to do this in slow-mo because it's super obvious but when you guys are doing drills and i'm i'm saying things like when you're doing things to the head, look to the body and don't give away where you're going. Um, they're using this at the top levels. I mean, it, it's a simple thing, but you guys should be able to use this as well. Boom. Keep watching his eyes. Keep watching his eyes. Keep watching his eyes. They never go up. And then it's not until it makes contact with his head that his eyes actually look up. So uh, these are little tips and tricks that you guys can use in your guys's matches use that little foot step over for the crossover kick and when i i can't say this enough because there's another match i covered where where you're not supposed to look at your actual target in the clinch you'll want to look down or look to the face if you're going to kick down just as an eye fake um, and they're using it here at the top level so i hope you guys can use this in your matches if it is effective please let me know i like hearing about your guys' victory stories um but besides that please like share and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time